Hi, a warm welcome to you. We have started trigonometry with uh, compound angles. We have seen multiple and submultiple angles. So, in this session, we will see what's the meaning of transformations from product to sum. What's the meaning of transformation in trigonometry? That means if we have two trigonometric ratios whom we are trying to sum them up, we can convert them into product. Similarly, if you are multiplying two trigonometric ratios, you can convert them into a sum of that. To understand that in, in detail, let us go ahead and start with the fundamentals. We know about the compound angles formula, so let us start with that. Let me take that. We know that what is sin of A plus B. Similarly, we know what is cos of A plus B. Similarly, we know what is formula for sin of A minus B and also we know for cos of A minus B. You can refer to that. Sin of A plus B is, okay, we will write it down here. Now, suppose you want to add two terms. Let us say that you want to add sin A plus B to sin A minus B you want to add sin of a plus b to sin of a minus b. Now, first let us try to put down the formula for this, then we will add them up. Sin of a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b and sin of a minus b is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. If you add these two, that is what you want to do here, these two will cancel out, you will get 2 sin a cos b. So, 2 sin a cos b. Now, you can see very clearly here, we have two trigonometric ratios whom we are trying to add. We can transform them into product. If you are adding sin of a plus b to sin of a minus b, that is nothing but equal to 2 times sin of a into cos of b. That means, sum can be transformed into product. Similarly, if you are having 2 sin a cos b, you can write it as sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b. This is called nothing but the transformations from product to sum and sum to product. What we are saying similarly, if you have 2 sin a cos b, you can directly write it as sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b. If you have sin of a cos of b, I can write it as sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b. This is transforming from product to sum. This is transforming from sum to product. Now, only the thing you have to understand is how you got the a. You got the a by taking this let us say this is 1 a plus b and this is 2 a minus b. You have added 1 and 2, you have divided it by 2. a plus b plus a minus b is 2a, 2a divided by 2 is a. Similarly, a plus b minus a plus b is 2b, 2b divided by b, 2 is c. So, whenever you have something like, suppose you want to find out what is sin of C plus sin of D, according to the formula, whatever we have seen, that is nothing but equal to 2 sin, I have to do C plus D by 2 and cos C minus D by 2. That is it. These are the formulas. So, we will just try to we have seen one sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b. Similarly, 
you can actually check uh, you you can do subtraction now suppose subtraction what happens this term will cancel and this will add up that means you will have 2 cos a sin b instead of plus this is minus this becomes 2 cos a sin b similarly you can check for cos a plus b and cos a minus b also so we'll write down all of them so we have written all the formulas whatever we know sin of a plus b sin of a minus b cos of a plus b cos of a minus b now we have product how to convert that into sum <coughs> so for that let us see how when you will get two sin a cos b i have sin a cos b here i have sin a cos b here when i add them these two terms will cancel so that is nothing but equal to sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b so any time you see 2 sin a cos b you can write it as sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b similarly if you see 2 cos a sin b i have cos a sin b here but they are plus and minus so if i minus minus the second one from the first one this becomes plus and this will cancel out that means i will have sin of a plus b minus of sin of a minus b now let's look at the next ones when i will get 2 cos a cos b i have cos a cos b cos a cos b if i add these two the second term sin a sin b will cancel out and i will have 2 cos a cos b that is nothing but equal to cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b now when you will get 2 sin a sin b if i subtract 2 from 1 cos a cos b cancels out i will have minus 2 sin a sin b so to get 2 sin a sin b i have to subtract cos of a minus b minus of from cos of a plus b that means cos of a minus b minus of cos of a plus b these are nothing but product to some transformation that means if you see 2 sin a cos b sin of you can write it as sin of a plus b plus sin it's very self explanatory we know this all these fundamentals remember that these formulas are very important in trigonometry <coughs> if you know these formulas remaining any formula you can get them because if you remember all your multiple sub multiple angles everything started from here only right ok now this is about product to sum now how to get sum to product that means suppose I have something like sin of C plus sin of T how to know what I have to do for that see here I have sin of C sin of D but you can see that C is equal to A plus B and D is equal to A minus B correct if, if I compare this C equal to A plus B and D is equal to A minus B what I have to do here we have seen this is nothing but A plus B plus a minus b by 2 that is when you will get 2a by 2a similarly here a plus minus of a minus b by 2 so according to that this becomes 2 sin of c plus d by 2 cos of c minus d by 2 similarly you can extend it suppose you want to find out sin of c minus of sin of d you can see now sin of c minus sin of d your a plus b is nothing but equal to c your a minus b is d now what is c plus d by 2 a I will write it here A is equal to C plus D by 2 and B is equal to C minus D by 2 so wherever I see A 
I have to write C plus D by 2 and wherever I have seen B I have to write C minus D by 2. So, this becomes 2 cos C plus D by 2 sin of C minus D by 2. Similarly, if we are going for cos of C plus cos of D and cos of C minus of cos of D. Let us see what happens. If I go for cos of C plus cos of D, that is nothing but equal to 2 cos of C plus D by 2 because you know that cos of A plus B plus cos of A minus B is nothing but equal to 2 cos A cos B. A is C plus D by 2 and B is equal to C minus D by 2. If I do cos C minus cos D, that means I do cos of A plus B minus of cos of A minus B. I am actually reversing this. So, I will have minus 2 sin C plus D by 2 and sin of C minus D by 2. So, why we have done this? We have done this because whenever you are adding, you will not get like this, right? There will be like something plus some x plus y, some angle from an with another angle. So, I should be able to know how to do deal with that. Now, from here, we are very clearly known that if I, this is C, this is D, A is nothing but equal to C plus D by 2. So, if I know sin of 60 plus sin of 90, I have to find out or let me say something like I have to find out what is sin 90 plus sin 30. Let us do that. Let us do that. Let us check. Ok, fine. Let us check one example. What is the value of sin 90 plus sin 30 using this formula? Without the formula, what is the value we know? We know sin 90 equal to 1, sin 30 equal to 1 by 2. That is nothing but 3 by 2. Now, according to the formula just now we have learned, this is nothing but equal to 2 sin c plus d by 2, that is sin 90 plus 30 by 2 into cos of 90 minus 30 by 2. That is nothing but equal to 2 into 90 plus 30, 120, 120 by 2 is sin 60 into 90 minus 30 is 60, 60 by 2 is 30, that is nothing but cos 30. And if you substitute the values, this is nothing but equal to 2 into root 3 by 2 into root 3 by 2. 1, 2 cancels out. Root 3 into root 3 or radical 3 into radical 3 is 3. So, that is nothing but equal to 3 by 2, which is nothing but equal to what we have. So, these are the formulas. These are the transformation, what we call it as. How we arrived it? We started from again the fundamentals, compound angles. Compound angles are very crucial. These formulas are very crucial. If you know these formulas, any formula you remember, you can get it back within 5 minutes. Okay. Now, the first set what we have seen is product to sum. <laughs> and the second set we have seen is sum to product. Now, let us do some simple examples to understand this better. Let us do some simple example. So, we will try to do this one. Sin of 50 minus sin of 70 plus sin of 10 prove that is nothing but equal to 0. Now, we have to, what we see here? We see trigonometric ratios being added or subtracted. Now, we have to convert them into product and see how we can make it 0. Remember, if I want to make it 0, if I apply transformation on two of the terms, it should cancel with the third term and I should end up with 0. So, what I will do is, I will take these two terms. 
this is nothing but equal to or I can take these two terms also anything is fine anything is fine you can take first two terms or you can take second and third terms or you can take first and three anyway you do it's fine okay right let's take this one sine of 50 minus sine of 70 so I will have formula is sine of C minus sine of D that is nothing but equal to sine of C minus sine of D is equal to 2 cos C plus D by 2 sine C minus D by 2 so I'll just apply that and I will say that's nothing but equal to 2 cos cos C plus D by 2 that is 50 plus 70 by 2 and sine of 50 minus 70 by 2 plus sine 10 this is nothing but equal to 2 cos 60 sine of minus 10 plus sine of 10 2 into 1 by 2 sine of minus is minus into sine 10 plus sine of 10 2 2 cancels out minus sine 10 plus sine 10 that's nothing but equal to 0 now we have taken this 2 now you want to try this 2 that is also is fine or you can try this one <coughs> anything is fine any two you can take you will see that it's a simplifying with the third term and it will cancel out let's do one more example to understand this better okay here we go cos 55 plus cos 65 plus cos 175 equal to 0 now I want to take these two and convert transform them into product now what is this formula cos c plus cos d according to us that is nothing but equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 and cos c minus d by 2 let's have a look at that cos c plus cos d equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2 so let's go ahead and apply the formula this is nothing but equal to to cos of c plus d by 2 that is 55 plus 65 by 2 into cos of c minus d by 2 that is 55 minus 65 by 2 plus cos of 175 I can write cos of 175 as cos of 180 minus 5 correct right this is nothing but 2 into 55 plus 65 is 120 120 by 2 is 60 so this is 2 cos 60 cos of 55 minus 65 is minus 10 minus 10 by 2 is minus 5 cos of minus 5 is cos of 5 because cos of minus theta is cos theta but what is cos of 180 minus theta 180 minus theta all sine tan cos 180 is here 180 minus cos is negative so this becomes minus cos 5 now this is nothing but equal to 2 into 1 by 2 into cos 5 minus cos 5 that's nothing but equal to 0 I hope you understood this concept and we have done simple examples we will continue to do solve intermediate level and simple level problems in coming uh, videos maybe two to three videos we will do where we will pick some problems which are interesting and we will try to solve them so that's about the trigonometry transformation product from sum if you know the compound angles formula then it's pretty much easy now how to convert a product into sum similarly how to convert a sum into product see in the next video where we will continue to do these problems